All right, gang, welcome back to Cooking with Gunther's Gourmet. I'm Chef Mike, and today we're in the bake shop again. I'm going to show you how to make a really good, nice, elegant cake without really having to have any special talents or know-how. What you're going to need is a little bit of raspberry jelly, raspberries, chocolate chip, and heavy cream. I've also pre-made three cakes. I bought these at um, this set of three and this thing at Michael's. And what we're trying to do is make a checkerboard cake. So I just got regular box store cake, Duncan Hines, I don't even know what brand I used, and, and made it. We made a chocolate, we made a white. You'll fill it white, chocolate, white, white, chocolate, white, and then opposite one on that one, chocolate, white, chocolate. So you'll have two cakes that are vanilla, chocolate, vanilla, and one cake that is opposite. And we're gonna stagger them and hopefully get a checkerboard effect. These couple of bucks plus, they're really nice cake pans for regular old cakes if you wanna use them. Um, but the cake, the checkerboard cake board makes for a nice presentation when you cut it open at somebody's birthday. A little bit of oohs and ahs and uh, you'll, um, you know, impress people. So the hardest thing you're gonna have to do today is make a chocolate ganache which we have heavy cream on the stove and we have unsweetened bitter chocolate. This I think is 60% cacao. Um, and we're just gonna dump this in just in the nick of time. Um, we're gonna put the hot heavy cream over top of the uh, chocolate and that's the way it's gonna melt. Um, and that's your ganache. We're going to whip it for a good amount of time until it becomes viscous. You want it to be thick and viscous, so it's going to take a little bit of time. In the meantime, we're going to prep these cakes. Um, I also have a, a, uh, a rack over a sheet tray because we're going to pour the chocolate ganache over it and just let it fall over and, 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 drip and ice it that way. You know, we'll, we'll help it along a little bit, but these always dome up a little bit in the center. So we're going to flatten them out. Just cut that dome off. You know, save this for the kids or whatever. But that, that's going to look quite nice. Um, obviously, that's the bottom. We're going to put that at the bottom. This is the bottom. It's going to be the top. So it'll be a little bit flatter. Now, what we're going to do to give it a little bit of flavor, we're just going to use straight up raspberry jelly. It'll give it some nice flavor. Don't put it too close to the edge. You don't have to worry so much on this one as we, we will do one with the uh, whipped cream. Uh, the chocolate will cover this up. The whipped cream, this might stain the whipped cream. So adds a little bit of flavor. A little bit of color when you open it up. We're going to do it one more time. Use whatever kind of raspberry jelly you like, whatever's on sale at your store. If you've got a local person at the farmer's market, always support them. Costs a little more, but I will tell you it's a heck of a lot better. All right. Try to get this cake a little bit even. And you notice we use the bottom of the cake as the top to give it a give it a smoother top. Now this is not going to be a perfect cake. Since we're not using fondant or, or royal icing or anything, you're going to get some, you're going to see the creases between the cakes. Um, that's okay, but it's still going to look pretty darn tasty. Still going to look good and it'll be impressive. So right now we're just waiting for the chocolate ganache to be done. Cake's already prepped. We're good to go. All right, so we're going to continue to whip this for a bit. You don't, you want it to start to cool down a little bit, so it is not just going to run off and and, and, and just leave nothing on the top. You want it a little bit thick, so you have to kind of force it off the sides and um, and ice the cake. All 
All right, it's looking pretty good. It's uh, maybe a smidge thin, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. You can feel a little bit of resistance, a little bit of pull on that, so I think we're gonna be good to go with this. So that's what we have. Quite frankly, it's as simple as pouring it over. See, it, it is moving, but it's not just running over the edge. We're gonna have to give it a little bit of help here in a second. We have it on a sheet tray because whatever drops off, we're just gonna scrape up and put it back in the bowl. So we have a palette knife. I'm just gonna run this over each way. You see how smooth and glossy it is up top? As it runs down the side, it ices the side. side. We'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to go down the sides real slow. Let it kind of just glaze it itself. A couple of pockets here and again. That cake is fairly well iced. It's fairly well covered. Like I said, I don't know if you can see this. That cake is, looks to be well iced, fairly well covered. Here's a few spots. We'll just try to tap them in. And if you have a bad side, that's the side you put towards the wall. And if there's any spots around the base of that, we're going to cover that up. So again, it's how to fix your mistakes. So we'll let this firm up a bit. Wouldn't be a bad idea to put it in the fridge for 10 or 15 minutes. I just don't have room. All right. So the cake is kind of firmed up now. The ganache is done. It's, it's smooth. It's pretty. It's, it's nice. Gonna have a little bit of mess in there, but we're not, you know, using a royal icing or you're not having to do a buttercream underneath this. It just makes for a nice cake. I do have some whipped cream, and by the way, I took the rest of the ganache that I put over the cake. Just keep it in here. This is great for uh, milkshakes, ice cream sundaes. You can make truffles with it, whatnot, whatever you like. So what we're gonna do is try to pretty this thing up a little bit more. We have a disposable piping bag. I chose a star tip, I don't know why, that's what we're going with. And we're just gonna put some um, whipped cream in here, decorate the cake up nice, and uh, call it a day. It almost took longer to wait for it to dry than it did to actually ice it. So whipped cream is just heavy whipping cream, sugar, and vanilla. That's all, that's all this is. What you want to do is you want to get all the air bubbles out of here. These, I think I got at Michael's again. Uh, they're just cake tins. I put a little dollop in the center there. That will keep the cake from sliding around. And I thought I brought out a 
big spatula to transfer this. We're also going to scrape the bottom of this and put it in there. All right, so we're going to score the cake. Kind of wipe it off in between each one. You're going to half it and then half it so we have some idea where to cut. I think we'll do thirds. Here's where my eyesight goes. This already looks better than most store-bought cakes. Um, you're probably saving a ton of money. We don't have that much invested in this cake. Probably the heavy cream and the chocolate are the most expensive things. Cake mix is usually 10 for 10 at your local grocery store. Um, so nice little score on there. Now, if you let it dry a little bit more, then um, it will uh, leave marks a little bit nicer. So we're just going to go ahead do a little dollop, a little bit of white to help offset that color of the dark chocolate. And obviously since we have raspberry in there, we will use raspberries on top to denote what's the flavor inside. And I forgot that we did the checkerboard cake on this, so we're going to have to cut a piece, see if it's as uh, kind of unique and pretty. And what we can do as well. Hit the side a little bit, kind of cleans up that bottom edge, finishes it off, cover up your mistakes. Here's your checkerboard chocolate cake with a chocolate ganache icing and a raspberry filling. I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks fairly professional, a little bit better than your average cake. I think if you give this to somebody for their birthday, anniversary, or whatnot, you will impress them. I will tell you right now, the ganache is still a bit wetter than it should be, but for time's sake, we're gonna go ahead and cut a piece. I'd like to see if that checkerboard cake worked on the inside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a cut. Want to wipe the knife off in between each cut so we don't smear too much in the center and it looks really pretty when you serve up a piece. All right, here's the moment of truth. That's kind of damn impressive, although I didn't center it on the plate properly. That's pretty darn good looking cake. All right, gang, so that is a pretty impressive looking cake. Store-bought cake, raspberry jelly, uh, raspberries, whipped cream, chocolate ganache. The ganache is only two ingredients. That will impress anybody, I think. The checkerboard cake on the center, it looks great. You know, 
and, and, and it didn't really take any icing skills whatsoever. So uh, check us out online. Look for, look for our products in the stores on Amazon and whatnot. If you need anything, you need any cooking advice, give us a holler. We're here to help you. Again, hit the subscribe and uh, hit the bell. We'll tell you when new things are coming out. And thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy it. And impress your friends with a great cake. All right, we'll see you soon. We'll see you on the next Cooking with Company Squad Mag. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining us.